lift has a little lift and it's an old lift too. What you do here is you pull back the grate. And I walk in. And then you walk in. And then I stand here for just a moment and then I <laughs> pull back. And then we do that and we press ground. Because we're going to breakfast. Mm. Then you got these little doors that shut. We're eating at Lang Trees restaurant this morning, so we're hoping we like it. Opening up. We just push it back. Oh, easy, this is easy breezy cover girl. Hi Kong. This is the uh, lobby of the Madaga. This is the hotel that um, is famous. For Oscar Wilde, Last Stand. Puffed them. Hmm, here we we're on our way to Lang Trees. Mm. Here we are. Here we are at Lang Trees. Does it look nice? It's very nice. What are you gonna have? Take a look. Get my glasses. Let's take a little look, shall we? The dog and breakfast is so big that you'd need an entire ranch to eat it, so we're gonna get the continental breakfast. We just had breakfast with Bob Wynn and his wife, and we're gonna go look him up because he was somebody back in old Hollywood. This is the room where Oscar Wilde was arrested. Let's see if it's open. They're refurbishing it right now, so there's not much to look at. Nice little room. Boy, he had a nice view. Look at this nice view. Very nice. I'd like to stay in this room sometime just because not only of the historic significance, but that sucky view we had. <laughs> That's nothing compared to this. Nice little view. Anyway, here it is. The Oscar Wilde Suite being refurbished as we speak. Hope I don't get in trouble for being in here. But I thought you'd all like to see his nice little his nice little suite. So there you go. You're Richie? Yeah, that's me. Well thank you for all the nice service. Pleasure, it's our pleasure. Richie did really good. Richie's the best. It's a very beautiful day here in London. Just beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Especially on Sloan Street. Uh, I can't go wrong on Sloan Street. You know, we got a little Tiffany. A little Peter Jones. There's a lot of London we haven't seen. We're going to come back and spend a month. Because I miss it already. So, the new Dorian Gray movie is premiering, and of course everybody knows that the story was written by Oscar Wilde. So the Cadogan is going to have a bunch of celebrities, and they're doing a huge press junket out there. Um, so that's exciting, yes, and we, we will be missing it. We missed it by a week, and I'm very, very upset, because I want to meet all the movie stars. Well, I'll give them all a ring and we'll have a little party. This is the Grafner Estate, remember? You know what, girl? What, Kong? Can you tell it's a good day in London when people are wearing sunglasses? True. Well, here we are in Victoria Station. How do you like it, Kong? I don't like it very much. <laughs> tell me about it. Well, there's a lot of... A lot of people here that are kind of scary looking. Well, and they're all going on our ship. Here we are in gate four, waiting for our coach that brings us to our ship. I think I saw some of these people at LAX. I think a lot of them are, uh, I don't 
don't even know how to describe it, but we'll see. Very American is how I would describe it. Calm? Yes. You know what I realized? What? I just went through all of Knightsbridge. I mean, Harvey Nichols and Harrods and, and that whole walk of, of yumminess. And I didn't buy one thing. Well, it's because something that costs $100 in the United States is $300 here. Well, I wasn't thinking about that. I was. For two pounds a bag, we were able to check our bags at Victoria Station for a half an hour and have a little walk around. I thought it was money well spent, don't you, Kong? Very well spent, because sitting there watching all those people from the Midwest is hurting my eyeballs. And we're going to be watching those people for a good two weeks as it is, so we may as well get a break while well, we can. Well, here we are on Buckingham Palace Road, and uh, we're not really by the palace, but we're by the road. And trying to get in a little teeny bit more London before we leave. Nice little townhomes. Well, they've done it. There's a musical version of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. We're looking forward to that when it gets to the stage. The place where we checked our luggage, two pounds a bag. We asked him where the shoeshine guy was, and he looked at us like we were from another planet. Apparently, no one in London gets their shoe shined. Which I can't believe. I think he's somebody that doesn't get his shoe shine. But it makes sense because Jill, who cuts our hair, is from England and she says you can always tell an American because her shoes are shined. True, she did say that. London is always very, very considerate about minding the steps and the gaps. What's your name? Me? Why do you want to What's take a picture name? of me? Because, because it's for our movie. For our movie. For your movie. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about the shoe shine situation here. They don't have shoe shine in London? Why don't they have shoe shine in London? They haven't got the idea to make money, you know, they don't know how to make money. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, we've got it, we've got it wired. Yeah. What's your name? John. John. John's been great. We're gonna we like get our John. bags we're gonna get our and bags. get on the bus. Yeah. Here we go.